guys, I'm Princey and welcome back to my channel Eggs Cadbury. Hope you like my acne series video of hashtag one and this is my acne series video number two. So in this video I will be discussing about the basic tips to how to take care of your acne or the basic points of how, take, how to take care of your acne. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Wash your face twice a day. Don't over wash your face. Use a mild soap to wash your face in order to keep your skin hydrated. And of course, don't scrub your face so much. Don't pinch. Don't ever try to burst out your pimples like this tissue, tissue, tissue. Because this will only push down the infection farther down into your skin, causing more blocking and obviously more swelling and redness. So please don't touch your pimples with and moreover mostly with dirty hands. It will be causing more bacteria to get into the pimples. So bursting out your pimples or popping out your pimples may also leave you scarring. Try to refrain your hand from touching your skin again and again because with our hands we used to touch more and more things and with this if you put this hand on your face again and again there will be more transfer of bacteria to your skin. So before touching your facial skin always wash your hand with soap and next one more important point I would like to add up here while receiving a call you are talking over your phone please don't allow the phone receiver skin to touch your skin your facial skin because this will transfer all the bacteria and sebum oil everything from the phone always keep your hands clean and wash them regularly because unknowingly you can touch your skin and transfer more bacteria to your skin so it's better to wash your hands regularly always wash your hands or sanitize your hands before touching your face this also includes that uh, before applying your lotion your moisturizer or any makeup if you wear glasses then do clean your glasses every day because they are very much possibility of your glasses collecting and sebum and skin residues Next is if you are having acne on your back, so shoulder or chest then try to wear loose garments. Uh, tight garments should be avoided and if you have to wear it then make sure they are regularly washed clean. Don't ever dare to sleep with your makeup because the makeup residues all over the night will eat up your skin and of course clean it up before going to your bed and moisturize your skin before going to your bed. Hair collects more sebum and skin residues, so keep your hair clean and away from your face. While sleeping, tie a ponytail, high ponytail and keep your hairs away from your face. Last but not the least, when you shave your face, be careful while shaving your face. Always use a, a clean and sharp blade and before shaving, use a warm water in order to make your skin soft and apply. After that, you apply the saving foam. That's it for the basic tips of taking care of an acne pond skin. If you are having an acne pond skin, then keep these points in your mind and try to include it in your day to day life. So, now moving on to the treatments of the acne pond skin or to acne treatment. That is, we have, le we have left this treatment uh, incomplete in our first episode of acne series. So, continuing the rest of the treatments, and here I will be discussing about six homemade remedies again. So lemons. Lemons acts as an exfoliator, disinfectant and skin brightener which helps in reducing the scarring of our pimples and moreover it also helps in preventing more acne to occur, means new acne to occur. So what you have, what you have to do is uh, take 2 tablespoons of lemon juice on a bowl and dip a cotton ball on it and dip that cotton, dab that cotton ball onto your acne. Honey is sticky and cinnamon is spicy. Cinnamon has an antimicrobial properties that stop bacteria from getting into the skin from our hands. So to make use of this honey and cinnamon marks, all you have to do is mix 2 tablespoons of honey with 1 tablespoon of cinnamon and make a paste out of it and apply this onto your face, whole face and keep it for 10 to 15 minutes. Then wash it off with normal cold water or warm water as you wish and pat your skin dry. Egg white are very easy and affordable way to treat your acne and it also helps in removing the scars that your unfortunate acne or blemishes has left. The reason behind why people found egg white as the most appropriate and affordable way to cure acne is that egg whites are full of proteins and vitamins. Egg white also soak up the excess serum from our, our face which in turn helps in removing the bacteria because bacteria has nothing to feed upon. 
All you have to do is take three to four white egg whites in a bowl and whisk it until and unless it is smooth and frothy. And let it set down for five minutes. Then apply this onto your face. You have to apply three to four layers of this egg white. So, but before that, make sure that your first layer is dried up, and then only you can apply the second layer. Uh, so after applying four to five layers of the egg white, let it sit for around twenty minutes. Then wash your face with warm water. Papaya has an enzyme called papain, which in turn helps in reducing inflammation and also helps in uh, reducing the pus formation into our blisters. So all you have to do is take two to three pieces of uh, ripe papaya into a blender, make a paste of it, and apply that paste onto your skin and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. After that, you can wash it off with warm water. Banana peel contains lutein, which is a completely and extremely powerful antioxidant. which helps in reducing swelling and inflammation and also promotes healthy skin growth all you have to do is peel off a banana and eat it <laughs> and not there take the banana peel and rub it in circular motions all over your face let it sit for 30 minutes then wash it off with warm or warm or cold water Last but not the least, garlic. Garlic is thought to be a good natural remedy for treating acne because of its antibacterial properties. All you have to do is take two to three cloves of garlic and take out the juice out of it. Mix it with aloe vera gel and apply it only in the problematic area because garlic is too harsh for the skin. So apply it only on the problematic area. And point to be noted that don't apply the garlic without diluting it with some other. solution moisturizer or aloe vera gel and that's it for the video this were the 12 homemade remedies that is six in this video and six in uh, the former video of acne story part 1 so <clears throat> these are the 12 remedies so say goodbye to your acne story and if my video was useful to you the useful to you then don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe to my channel boy if you have not yet subscribed and today is the last day of taking part in the giveaway do enter the giveaway because uh, before it closed out so till my next video love you take care bye